Alright, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. This is how the new lineup looks. Jabari, DeMarcus, D'Angelo Russell, Sam Whiteside, Alex Byrne, Jordan Clarkson, Julius Randle, Kelly Oubre, Miles Plumley, an injured Kobe Bryant, and uh, yeah, Sonny Weems, Montreal Harrell, Johnny O'Brien, JR Swish. Now, I probably will make a trade, a trade deadline, getting rid of like... Johnny O'Brien and maybe Mason Plumley or Alex Len, uh, not Mason Plumley, Miles Plumley. So that will be our only trade for the rest of the season um, for, for this team because I really like the way that the team is looking now. And in this episode, we face up against two teams. We face up against LeBron James and the Phoenix Suns, and we also face up against the one and only Chicago Bulls. So yeah, let's get into the game. This is a, the games. Yeah, that's what I mean. Let's go. So in the first game, we're up against the Phoenix Suns. Eric Bledsoe, Monte Ellis, LeBron, Morris. This team is actually pretty good. I was uh, I was surprised to see how well these guys played as a team. This man Jabari steps back, hits that three, knocks it down. But what I'm going to do um, is you're going to see two games in this episode. I told you before, but I'll say it again. Phoenix Suns and the Chicago Bulls. And what I'm going to do is show you guys the first quarter and the fourth quarter of both the games. Doing what I uh, do where I, you know, play two games, but I only show you the first and the last because, uh, you know, why not? I get more videos out for you guys and you guys can see more gameplay. Now, I have some major, like, update video coming. Well, actually, I can just tell you guys now. Um, that should have been a block. That would have been crazy if Hassan got that block. He did get that one right there, though. All right, but I want to talk about a couple things in this episode. First of all, this week is major exam week at my school. So from Wednesday to Friday, I have exams. And as of now, I'm recording this on the Tuesday night. So hopefully, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get videos out just for two days. But other than that... I'll be good to go for the rest of the days. So I just have to study for, for exams and stuff. It's like the only only time that I really don't get videos out for you guys when uh, when I want to um, or when I'm just like not busy. But yeah, I, I have to study for exams, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, you'll only miss like one or two days. And maybe if I, you know, do edit videos while I'm meant to be studying, then uh, you get to see another video. But I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> anyway. I also want to say that this lineup that I run is always going to change. I've got Hassan Whiteside, Julius Randle, DeMarcus Cousins, you know, Montreal Harrell, Alex Land, Miles Plumlee, just a whole bunch of centers on this team and power forwards that it's so interchangeable. What I'm going to do is when I face up against teams that have really good big men, like for example, the Clippers with Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan, or the Spurs with Tim Duncan and LaMarcus Aldridge, or the, uh, who else? Just teams that have really good big men. Um, I'm gonna run DeMarcus a power forward and Hassan Whiteside at center. Or if I like the way that they're playing um, just regularly, then I might just run it as a lineup and run Randall off the bench. But let me know what kind of lineup you wanna see with this team. You guys saw my lineup at the start of the video. And uh, yeah, tell me down below what lineup should I run. I'm thinking about running um, and also, another team would be like the Chicago Bulls, which is what you're going to see. Hassan just gets blocks, man. Same with Boogie. It's, it's a really nice front court, which I run right here. And look at Kelly Oubre slamming it down. Kelly Oubre doing what he does best, throwing down the hammer. This is what I like about having Hassan Whiteside and Boogie. You get blocks, rebounds, and then fast break opportunities, which lead to dunks. That was a nice shot by Monte Ellis. If you haven't been watching the video, Monte has been killing me. This guy goes to work, not in my house. Get that out of here. D'Angelo Russell sends that back. Morris gets that mid-range to go. And this is pretty much the comeback that the Suns have right now. 68, make it 70 to 74. LeBron hits his three to go. 73 to 74. We haven't scored for like two and a half minutes and the Phoenix Suns take the lead with LeBron James. They were on a 12 to 2 run to end the game. Eric Bledsoe gets a steal and he gets a miss but LeBron throws it down and we're down by a point right here. 
So with 18 seconds left to go, we have a fast break opportunity. Jabari Parker is the man, the myth, the legend. He gets that mid-range to go, which makes us have a one-point lead with 14 seconds to go. This is why I picked Jabari Parker up, man. He's Jabari and Wiggins. They're actually quite similar. I didn't realize Jabari had this good of a dunk right now. I think it's like an 86, 87. He, he can throw it down in this game. And, you, and you're going to see some more of Jabari when I play against the Bulls. But 10 seconds left. The Suns have a chance to win this game. They go with Monte Ellis. Gives it to Len. To LeBron for the win. He misses. And yours truly, Nick Smith and the Los Angeles Lakers come out with this win. It was a nice win. I was pretty happy. This was my first game with the new squad. Jabari dropped 20 points and 10 assists, sharing the rock around 7 for 11, seven for 11 shooting. Uh, D'Angelo Russell dropped 15 and 10 as well. Jordan Clarkson dropped 9 points. The Boogie only had 9 points, but he didn't shoot very well, 3 for 7. And now we're facing up against the Chicago Bulls. You're going to see Derrick Rose is like Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose is like throwback Derrick Rose is what I'm trying to say. He is something else. And this game was quite tough. It was quite tough. But you're going to see it, and you're going to see what happens in this game. And to start out, I ran Hassan Whitehead at center and DeMarcus at power forward because I'm up against Joakim Noah and I'm up against Pau Gasol, two, like, seven-foot power forward and centers. And D. Rose absolutely posterized me right there. And it's not the last time he does that either. He's looking like throwback D. Rose, as you can see right there. Yeah, he, he throws it down and hangs on the rim with emphasis. This man, Hassan Whiteside. First of all, if you haven't been watching him in real life, he's a monster. Second of all, you need to get him in 2K because he's a monster. It's insane. I'm, as a Heat fan, I'm so happy with the way Hassan Whiteside's been playing. He's getting, he's getting blocks, rebounds, points. He's just doing what... He's just being a beast, man. He's just being a beast. He could be an all-star this year, the way he's playing. Kelly Oubre gets this to go. And as you can see, it's 12 to 21. The only player that was getting me back in this game was Kelly Oubre, man. 15 to 21 right now. Jabari hits this mid-range to go. 17 to 21. And now we fast forward all the way to the fourth quarter. And this is we we have the lead right here. 63 to 58. But D-Rose looking like throwback D-Rose again. Throws it down, makes it a three-point game. He's flopping right there. D'Angelo Russell hits that mid-range to go. 65, and now it's 62. Boogie. Whew. Going with a reverse star right there. Slams that one down. And uh, Boogie's still being Boogie, even with the Sun White Sun on the squad, which is really nice. Harold coming off the bench, still throwing it down. Harold's a great pickup. I'm happy I picked up Harold like, first season of this My GM series. He is an underrated big man in this game, I'm telling you. Harold's a beast. Jabari gets an ISO right here and throws it down. Like I said before, Jabari actually has a really good dunk rating. D-Rose, I don't know how he got that finish to go, but like I said, looking like throwback D-Rose. Hassan Whiteside gets that dunk to go, and it's another one. Another block to the Los Angeles Lakers. Jordan Clarkson with the ball right here. Feeds D'Angelo Russell back to Boogie. This is what I call ball movement, and this is what I call get posterized, boy. Whew. Boogie throwing it down. D Rose gets me with the crossover. Gets denied right there. Pau Gasol gets denied right there. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this front court of Hassan and Boogie won't it just won't be stopped. It's it's a better combination than Chris Bosch and, and Hassan Whiteside. So you know we're gonna be beasting with Hassan and Boogie. D Rose though. Looking like throwback D Rose. 72 to 77. We get a nice board right there. Hassan's leading the break. Feeds it up to Boogie. Another slam to DeMarcus Cousins. And that pretty much wrapped up the game right there. Six seconds left. Down by six. The Bulls won't come back from this. That was a tough shot. He misses. And the Lakers, once again, with this new squad, come out on top with this win. Boogie's happy. Hassan's happy about it. They're showing the love to each other. They know it's a good front court. They know that they're not going to be beaten. So if you guys want to see some more gameplay with this Los Angeles Lakers, my GM team. And let me show you what happened. Powell only had five shots. Noah only had four shots. And Miritich only had like four shots. All their big men could not score on DeMarcus and Hassan Whiteside. And they also dominate. Like, Hassan dropped 15 and 12 with two blocks. Playing like the real Hassan Whiteside. Boogie dropped 23 and 7 rebounds with 5 blocks. Jabari doing work. 
it's just a really fun team. And when Kobe Bryant comes back and J.R. Smith come back, it's going to get a whole ton better. And the next game that we play, as you can see, Kobe Bryant has fully recovered. So I'm going to I'm going to be playing in the next episode with Kobe Bryant and the new look Lakers team. And once and for all you guys that tell me to change J.R. Smith's number, I do change it, and I change it to number two. So yeah, it's been Bonnie Smith. I'm out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I'm out. Peace.